what are you aiming at? Uh, that green stuff out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cuz. Hey, cousin. So I'm meeting up with Byron today to get some answers. I want to see if he gave OG the go-ahead to leak the family secret. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna come over here and act like I know what I'm doing. It's been a while. I kept hearing Cece say, Byron said it's okay. Byron said it's okay. So I want to see Byron to his face and see if he says it's okay. I need this little bitty one. Yeah. I really like the big, big one. Oh, okay. When you when you show me you get that one a few times, then I'll give you, I'll give you a bigger one. <laughs> That's Cece's club. I, that's what she used when I take her to the range. Aw, Cece. I've been having the hardest time with Cece and Kristen, and I feel like I failed because <laughs> the last situation that happened like really hurt my feelings. It like made me sad. I was like, I just need to talk to you. Okay. Because I don't really know what to do anymore. I just want to know why OG feels like she can weaponize the fact that Byron is not Thomas's biological father. We went to a skincare party, and OG goes, "You're fake. Your whole life is fake, Miss." Mm. And and we were like, "Are you kidding me?" And she was like, "Yes, because Thomas ain't." Byron's real son, and right, right. for her to like out him, what if he's not saying it to people? You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew, but like, right, right. Well, your family, not, most, yeah, I mean, most was, of our family knows. OG is now saying that you told her. It came up at dinner with me and OG and CC and, and Kwame, but that's not a big deal. I mean, it really isn't. You know, I raised him since he was one and a half years old. That's my son. Did you tell OG that it was okay to use it against Kristen? No. I said it was OK. I didn't say, yeah, go ahead and say it. Well, she's making it like you say, yeah, go tell him. No, nah, that ain't me. I am relieved. But then I go from relieved to angry, because I feel like OG is a whack bitch. And you're making Byron look bad, and that is not the case. So now I'm trying to figure out what do I do next? Do you think that CeCe's innocent in all this, or you think no. it's a both? OK. No, I don't think nobody's innocent in all this. I know she probably had a hand in this as well. Yeah. And it wouldn't went as far as Kristen would have said some of the that she said. I'm yeah. mad because you guys don't come see my kid. You live down the street, Why and y'all don't take your ass over to my Why? house. She didn't mean that you were a bad grandfather. She just was trying to say, I want him to be more involved. Why did she say that? And, and then when I make numerous calls to her to try to see my granddaughter, when I call and text my son to try to see my granddaughter, and it's always, well, she's asleep. You know, we'll call you when she wakes up. Oh, we forgot. If I keep running into this wall, sooner or later, I'm going to get smart enough and I'm going to stop. They have never once called me and said, can we bring her over? Not once, ever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to keep putting out the effort if you're not going to help me but it, it can't be one way. Hi, it's Evelyn Lozada from Basketball Wives. Subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel so you don't miss anything this season.